Thank you for joining the talk. Um, I will take you into a completely different field, um, namely in the development aid field. Um, my name is Spirit, and I'm working at the Digital Innovation Unit at GFA Consulting Group. We're based in, in Germany, and we're working in the according projects, uh, according countries, and this is my team. So we are a big bunch of young people, actually, which is quite refreshing. And I will talk a bit about um, the project that we've just finished in Ethiopia with GIZ. And um, there we have uh, worked within the low lowland soil rehabilitation project where it was, we were asked to come up with an approach to measure the impact that the installed dams that they built in, in, in the river valleys had on the vegetation around it. And so you can see on the right-hand side, I don't know, I will use this one. No, no, maybe, maybe not. Okay, doesn't work. Well, on the right-hand side, you see how, what it looked like before. Um, and then uh, some years after, you can see the vegetation that has actually grown quite a bit. But how do we know whether it's actually, um, yeah, because of the dam or not? Um, this is what it looks like in, in real. When it's installed, it actually keeps the keeps the runoff from the run uh, from the precipitation where it is, and um, yeah, ideally this that then should increase the um, moisture over time. But of course, um, we were given some criteria, so we had to base it on an existing methodology, which was given to us by this wonderful process diagram that you see there. It needed to be free and open source, of course. It needed to be low maintenance, like your um, normal gravel garden. And also, you needed, it needed to be statistically relevant. And so we came up an idea with an idea, a simple architecture. On the left, um, you have the, um, like the backend storage, where we have the database on a um, PostgreSQL database sitting the dam structures and then a data storage where we constantly retrieve Sentinel data and Landsat data that are syncing over time so that um, we can measure the trend over time. This then goes through some um, yeah, NDVI vegetation processes and we do some geostatistical analysis on that. All of this we then developed into well, like we put it into a plugin, plugin so that the Ministry of Agriculture in Ethiopia can just press and click on the on the QGIS desktop, and then get a um, report out at the end. Now, of course, we needed to ask the question: dam or not the dam? That is the question, like Shakespeare already did. So we came up with a nice um, geostatistical, uh, geostatistical approach, um, which also takes into consideration some control points um, using the Welsh t-test. And then at the end, we get a final report that the user can use or not, where you can see that there has been some positive improvement right, right here um, around the dam structure or not. And if you want to see it in life, you will have to come and see me. If you want to work with us, um, you can also come and contact me. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you. That was fast one. Uh, maybe we have even time for a question here. No. <laughs> uh, I have one quick question. Where are the dams actually working or not, or you don't know yet? Okay, we I hope they will. I assume they were, but it's really hard to do the, the Should I use the microphone? I'm not sure. Um, we don't know yet, and it's really hard to do just with Sentinel and Lancet because these dams are very, very um, small. And also, the, they've just been installed like three, four years ago, five years ago. So to actually measure the significant in there is quite... Uh, I would say arguable as as of now, but but I will say that I think that the methodology is really good, and um, I think over time you will see an effect. 